Now I can simply start and end a video with a title like this by telling you to stop worrying about people who aren't worried about you and just to move on. But then again, it's not that easy. Or like my son would say, he said, well, dad, it's not all cut and dried. And that's true. When it comes to your emotions and your feelings and, and relationships, it's not all cut and dried. It's complicated. Many relationships, they start out passionate and loving. You can't get enough of each other. That honeymoon period we, where everything seems to be great. But once things get more settled, it's common for the relationship and your partner, for that matter, to lose some of their shine. Some of you ladies might perceive this. He never really cared about your feelings in the first place. It's not uncommon, and you need to get that. It's not uncommon for a woman to have doubts about her man's feelings about her and the relationship. But if he cares for you, if he loves you, if he, you, you will know. So if you're wondering, how do you tell if a man doesn't care about you? Or how do you know when a man doesn't love you anymore? Well, then you've clicked on the right video. You've clicked on the right thumbnail. Because in this episode, I'm going to share with you seven warning signs that he doesn't care about your feelings or the relationship. Hi everybody, this is Life with Leonard and welcome to another episode. Now on this channel, I strive to motivate and inspire you to become the best version of yourself and today's episode is definitely no different as I mentioned we're gonna talk about relationships once again and I know this is a very highly requested topic whenever I speak about relationships in fact one of my most popular and most viewed videos on my channel is the 10 qualities of a good man when I talk about where I also talk about relationships I'm gonna leave a link to that video in the description below or you can just click on the banner on top it will take you to that episode and just another thing what do you guys think you notice the wall is different color at the back um, I made it a bit darker just for for better contrast hopefully the quality the picture quality is a bit better but also um, I have made a request in a previous video about my camera if you want to go watch that insert about that I'm gonna leave a link to that video in the description below or once again you can just click on the pop-up banner it is one of my previous videos where I talk about um, camera upgrading clarity and quality etc so I would advise you to go watch it perhaps that video is for you you would know what I'm talking about as soon as you get there and don't forget to subscribe like and share my video and leave me a comment in the comment section below I always look forward to your comments so number one is he is always too busy at least for you perhaps I should just mention here because I know a lot of men a lot of you fellas watch my videos as well I'm not sharing these signs with the ladies because I'm selling you out but if the Sioux fits. Now ladies, your man, and I want you to get this, he may have a lot going on at work or find himself having to support a sick family member or he himself is going through some emotional trauma. But when you're in a relationship, you find a way to make your partner one of the priorities in your life. And importantly, it's not quantity, but quality. And guys, ladies like that, they love the quality. Even if he's super busy, he should still be finding ways to let you know that he cares. It could be as simple as taking a few minutes to check in on how you are doing. It's the thought that counts, guys. However, if he consistently never has time for you, that should be a way of telling you that he wants out of the relationship. And if the only time when he has time for you is when no one else is available, then that's a very bad sign. If everything comes before you, from work to family to friends, then yours is not a relationship he's invested in. And number two is, he never makes sacrifices. I told a married couple that I've counseled not so long ago, I said, you know, marriage is not 50-50. Divorce is 50-50. Marriage has to be 100-100%. It isn't dividing everything in half, but giving everything you've got. Whether you are married or not, the relationship that you're in, any relationship, it's the testing ground for the long-term commitment. So look out for the signs. When it comes to sacrifices, these include things big and small, and we shouldn't really complicate things here. But if every time a compromise is called for, you find you're the only one who is ever actually compromising, then you've got a problem on your hands. If your man, I mean simple things, if he never go out of his way to do things for you while expecting you to do lots for him, 
if he's never the one making the sacrifice, then that is an issue. It's a sign. If you don't want your relationship to stagnate and be one-sided, if you, if you don't want to go in circles, you have to paddle together. You have to stand and do things together. And number three is, he isn't careful that his words don't hurt your feelings. They say, don't mix your words with your mood. You can always, you can always change your mood, but you can't take back your words. Now, a person who truly cares about the relationship, he will be mindful of how his words affect you. And while that's no guarantee that your feelings won't get hurt, there will be fights and misunderstandings. That's normal. That's normal for any relationship. In fact, some people might even say that's healthy. But it should always be respectful. It involves compromise. Sometimes you choose to lose the argument as long as you win and gain the person. And overall, it's important that he takes care of how he chooses his words with you. If he cares about you, the man cares about you, he will slow down and take time to find kinder ways to express himself. Now, if words are not only careless, but are also cruel and specifically calculated to hurt you, then it is a sign that there is something more serious going on here, that he's simply not caring. If it gets to a point where it's a constant and serious verbal abuse, then it may be time for you to seek outside help. And number four is no longer interested in being your protector. Now, a man is a natural protector. It's in our DNA. It's the essence of who we are. And not that women can't protect themselves. And, and I'm not just talking about when someone wants to, wants to hurt you or disrespect you. No, it's much more than that. I recorded an episode about a year ago, I alluded to that earlier, about the 10 qualities of a good man. And I will advise you to go watch it. it it's actually my most popular uh, video on my channel. And trust me, there are so many very good snippets in that video that will definitely put things into perspective for you. What you need to understand if a man, I mean, if a man is loyal to you, if he loves you, if he cares about you, if he values you, very importantly, he's going to make sure that you are protected, both physically, emotionally, and financially. Just like it's, like it's in a man's biological nature to get jealous of potential competitors, it's also a basic instinct to feel protective of those that we love. It's not just a gender thing. Whenever you really care about someone, it, it only makes sense to stand up for them. And if he doesn't speak out in your defense, when someone else um, attacks or unnecessarily criticize you, then that's not a good sign. And if he doesn't show basic concern for your safety, it's likely a sign that he simply doesn't care. You know, a good man, in Doda Ulungileyo, listen to me, Mamela Ufaz, a queer man, he will go out of his way to protect you. He, he will ensure that you are safe, that you are okay. And number five, I want to talk about romance, my more dwindling romance. Now look, I know that some people are just not sentimental and are not a fan of romance. And often opposites attract. The majority of women, romantic dinners and thoughtful dates are some of the best parts of a loving and caring relationship. If he was never good at romance, it could just mean he's a bit clueless. But in that case, his ability, and this is important, I want you to remember, that his ability to be romantic should increase over time, not decrease. And if he used to bring you flowers, and little love letters and notes, send you sexy text messages throughout the day, but no longer does, then that's a sign that something is amiss. Or if he used to compliment you, but now he never compliments you. He used to take you out on romantic dates, buy you something nice, massage your feet, notice your new hair color, small things like that. And number six is, he has stopped saying he loves you. It's one thing if this is still too a new of a relationship. To say those three little words, I know sometimes a bit intimidating, you feel a bit awkward. But if all of a sudden he stops saying or avoiding saying it back to you, then that's, that's not just a sign, that's a red flag. And I want you to keep in mind that there are other ways to say I love you. Now, not all people, and we know that, can express their feelings in ways that we want. But I'm sure that, that you are aware of that. There are a variety of love languages, ways that, that he can say that he loves you without actually saying those three little words, if it's a bit awkward for him or he's not that type of person. But I know, ladies, you love hearing them. So if your man doesn't say I love you too much, it, it doesn't necessarily mean that you are not loved. It could be 
that he has a different love language. By that I mean he can say I love you without actually saying it. If he spend quality time with you, give you thoughtful gifts and, and words of affirmation, these are verbal compliments or words of appreciation such as, you know, he, he might tell you, you can always make me laugh or to me you are perfect. Or if he look you deep in the eyes and tell you, you mean, you mean more to me than every single day. Or I never get tired of looking at you. Or there is no one I would rather be with right now than you. I love your body. And then he touches you. If these are not there anymore, well, he's telling you something without saying anything. And that's a sign. You cannot force someone. I think you know that. You cannot force someone to love you. All you can do is be someone who can be loved. The rest is up to them. And next is, he treats you the same way as everyone else. Now, a good relationship means that to each other, you are both very special. Not just another buddy or an acquaintance. If he treats you just like everyone else in his life, that's a sign that you, you're just not very special to him. You should never have to convince someone to love you. The right person will always make that choice on their own. And lastly, I thought I'll give you this one as a bonus. And that is that the relationship has started taking an emotional toll on you. Now, whenever you consistently invest in your energy and your time and your emotions into a relationship and not receiving anything back in return, you will eventually experience an emotional toll. Now, even in a non-romantic relationship, if you have to beg someone to be in your life, well, then I'm sorry to say they don't belong there in the first place. It might be harsh words, painful words, but words most that you most definitely don't want to hear, but you need to hear it. And I said, if you're putting in a lot of effort into what is supposed to be the central relationship in your life and not getting anything back, then, then that's an indicator that something is not right in this relationship. If you're the only one, if you are the only one constantly making sacrifices to ensure that your partner's needs are being met, that's not fair. You see, all relationships, all relationships, they require a give and take. And that's from both parties, both people. Any relationship for that matter, whether it's friendship or romantic or a business relationship even, any relationship that's one-sided isn't one. It's a one-way street headed in one direction, and that is nowhere. A healthy relationship, it requires input from willing participants. It is not a one-way street and you should stop trying to flog a dead horse. It's not going to work. Cut yourself loose and move on. You, of all people, you deserve better. Thank you so much, everybody, for once again joining me on today's episode. If this episode was of value to you, can I kindly ask you, if you haven't, to please subscribe to my channel, like this video and share it and leave me a comment in the comment section below. I'm really looking forward to your comments on this video. Uh, please share with us what you are going through and if this video helped you for sure. Thank you so much, everybody. I'll see you in the next episode. Stay blessed.